Google Sites allows you to embed various gadgets into any web page. In this example, I'm going to show you how to take a folder that's saved within your Google Drive, in my case called Folder 1, and embed it directly into a page so that people can access the documents and the folders that are inside of that. This first example is of a folder that is embedded and it is floated to the right with word wrapping on so it fits right into the text, or you could have it go the full width of the page as in this example. You can also see that there's a, a field for the description to give a brief summary of what that file is about. These files don't have anything in their description field. The ones up here a little farther do. I'll show you how you can add that a little bit later. So this is the final product, but let's see how we got there and why we would do this. Here's my Google Drive. In it, I've created a folder called Embedded Docs, and here's my Folder 1 and Folder 2 that you saw in the finished product. If I open up Folder 1, you'll see there's the, the PNG image, there's the embedded doc and the folder that's also inside of that. The one thing that you need to make sure that you do is that these folders need to be shared. So if you click on the share icon, you need to make sure that anyone who has the link can at least view it. If it's protected any more than that, it won't show properly on the public website. So anything that you put inside of this folder will automatically be loaded on your web page. Now why would you do this? One, ease of management because it's easy. I just drag it right in this folder and it's automatically available on my website. You could also use the organize and sharing functions to put anything in this folder. So if you have a master folder, you can share it down into this folder uh, quite easily. It also helps because there are limits to the quota or the, the size of Google Sites. That could either be within your own Google Site if you have a general Gmail uh, Google account or if you're in an apps uh, environment, like you have a school account, there's a quota for the entire school. So you don't want to run up against that. So saving things in your drive as Google Docs format allows you to save some space as well. Another reason for attaching documents to your Google's pages in this way is that you can actually have more than one of these gadgets on the single page. In the traditional way, you add folders to a web page by either creating a file cabinet page, by using attachments on the bottom of each web page, by using embeds of a single document, or by just providing simple links. This gives you a more flexible way of adding attachments to a particular web page. So let's see how you do it. I'm going to flip back over here is my page that I want to insert my uh, folder gadgets into. So I'm in my edit mode here. I've got my text all, all ready to go. It's quite as, it's as, as easy as it is to add any other type of gadget to a web page. Click on the insert point where I would like it to be, go to my insert menu, and now I have this one here on the right called folder. If I click on that, it'll take me into my drive and give me a list of the folders that I want. Now in my case, I've already labeled these. You can do, use the search bar up here. I named it folder, so if I search for those, it'll narrow it down a little bit more. I'm starting with folder one. Check the box and select it. It'll give me the basic app uh, options for inserting this drive folder. I like to include a, a border around it. In this case, I'll leave the title on it. My height, I'll make 300. The width, in this case, I want it over to the right, so I'm only gonna make it 200 pixels wide and save it. Now you have the standard gadget options here. I want to put mine over to the right side and I'm going to turn on the text wrap. And it puts it over to the right. Okay. If I save that, I'll show you what it looks like. Since I only made the gadget 200 pixels wide, it's not big enough to fit the entire width of the text. So I have to scroll back and forth to see that. You can change that if you'd like or you just keep it small. So you can change those, those settings as you wish. Let's go back in and edit the page. I'm going to make mine a little bit wider, make it 500 pixels, save it, scroll down a little bit more. I'm going to insert another one. So again, insert, folder, select folder 2, make this 300. I'm going to leave the width blank. That makes it 100% wide. Save that. And there you go. It's as easy as that. To enter a description field, check a box next to the document. Go to More and select Details. This will give you some additional information about it, including a preview. If I scroll down to the description field, I can put my description in here. Keep it short so that people can see it. Presentation on my project, or something more creative than that. When I click away from it, it will automatically save it. Now, if I go back to my page, I give it a little refresh, 
you can see that the description is filled in on that particular item. So you can feel free to add those in. Notice here it does not wrap, it's just a single line. So if it's longer than this, it won't show everything. So it's really as easy as that. The folder gadget is just another one of the things that you can insert into a page. I go back to my public example here. This is what we started with. If I refresh the page, we should now see my folder gadgets embedded directly within the page. Remember, it's quite easy to manage. You can give little descriptions to each document or folder to help people understand what it is. So that's it, embedded folders within a Google site. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via Twitter or leave a message below the video here. Until next time.